Hello, it's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Tailscale on Ubuntu. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a web browser, and we're going to go to tailscale.com, and we're going to click on download, and we're going to copy the install script, and we're going to open up the terminal, and we're going to paste the install script in. And we're going to enter our password. And once it's finished installing, we want to type sudo tailscale up. And I'm also going to add dash dash advertise exit node, which means that you can route all of your internet traffic through the machine, just like a normal VPN. We're going to type enter. And we're going to click on this link to log into Tailscale. So now we just need to log into Tailscale. So you can just click on sign in with Google. And we're going to enter our email address. And we're going to click on connect. And this will add the device to your Tailnet. So now we need to add another device to the Tailnet. So I'm going to demonstrate this on another computer. So now that we're on another computer, we need to go to a web browser. And we're going to go to tailscale.com. And we're going to download Tailscale for our operating system. And we just need to follow the prompts to install Tailscale on our computer. So once you've installed Tailscale, we need to open up the app. And we're going to click on the icon. And we're going to click on Settings. And we're going to click on Accounts. And we're going to click on Add Account. And this is going to open up the Tailscale web page. And we're going to choose our email account. And then we're going to click on Connect. And then we've added another computer to our Tailnet. So in our Tailnet, you can see that our computer is asking to be an exit node. So to turn this on, we're going to click on the three dots over here. And we're going to click on Edit Route Settings. And we're going to check the Use as Exit Node box. And then we're going to click on Save. And then we're going to click on the three dots. And then we're going to click on Disable Key Expiry. And this will allow us to stay logged in on the computer so that we don't have to re-authenticate ourselves all the time. And that's it. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and I'll see you next time. Bye!